everyone, it's Jess here with Blush Jess. Thank you so much for watching today. I hope I am not looking too washed out here in the sunshine, but I needed to sit by a window today because it's kind of, it's actually, it looks bright, but it's actually kind of dark outside. So this is a, this is the natural light. So anyway, I don't know how I got on that. Welcome to my Weight Watchers week two weigh-in. So I just finished my second week on Weight Watchers and I weighed in this morning. And I am so excited to report. I'm just going to go ahead and jump right into it. Um, last week I was 225.4 and then this week on the scale I was 224.6. So I'm down 0.8. <sighs> so let me just tell you how this week went. Um, there was a lot of stress, <laughs> not really stress, just, just a lot of stuff, you know, um, Nate was kind of seeing dermatologists. So I was really anxious, anxious, anxious about that. We weren't really sure what was going on with his rash. I've talked a lot about that. I'm not going to go back into it, but, um, so whenever my kids are sick, I just deal with a lot of stress, a lot of fear. And I usually either, I go one of two ways. I just don't eat anything and I'm just stressed and I don't feel like eating. I feel like if I eat, I'm going to throw up or I want to eat every single thing in sight. <laughs> um, and I'm happy to report I did not do that this week. I stayed on track. I ate, but I ate healthy food or I ate in moderation. Um, and I did great. And then we were also traveling. So let me just tell you a little bit about that because I, I don't know if everyone saw my updated videos, but, um, so we left on Thursday and then um, we had, we went to my parents' house, me and the kids, and we had tons of food opportunities. <laughs> so we went to a hamburger place, like one of my favorite, like local, um, you know, just yummy food. <laughs> and so I dealt with that. Um, we had an engagement slash wedding kind of party for my brother and his fiance. So there was tons of food and desserts there. We went to, um, one of my favorite Italian restaurants and so there was a ton of food there and um and then I had some fast food on Sunday because I was traveling and all of that so how I na navigated it is I just tracked my points and if I knew I was going to have a bigger dinner like say when we went to the Italian restaurant I knew I was going to be eating you know I didn't just get a salad I got what I wanted I just made it fit in my day that is why I love Weight Watchers so much because I can make it fit in my day no matter what it is. And I just had a small portion of it and it, I, I felt great. Um, then with the fast food, um, I tried to pick places that I could eat pretty low in points. Like Subway was one that that's a no-brainer. You can eat really low in Subway. Um, also Arby's shockingly had some good options. Um, and then, you know, I just try to eat lots of fruits and veggies to fill in the gaps and I feel great. Also this week, not only normally do I gain weight when I travel, I mean, who doesn't, but I was on my period and, um, for me to lose weight on the week of my period is pretty, pretty shocking because <laughs> usually, you know, you deal with the bloating, even if it's not like a true weight gain, um, you know, your hormones and all of that. So I am thrilled with point eight. I've been working really hard. I'm sorry, my voice is going in and out. I've been working really, really hard this week, but it's not been hard. I mean, it's, I mean, it's not like the, you know, it's not, I'm not going to say it's easy because I am learning how to eat correctly and balancing, you know, the treats with a lot of healthy food. So it's not been like a walk in the park by any means. It's been, I mean, there's days it's hard, but it's not been like a struggle. It's been fairly easy to stick with. Um, I feel really good. Uh, I'm eating plenty. I'm having actually a hard time getting in all of my points most days. Now I did go about halfway into my weeklies. I get tw I get 42 weeklies. I think I ate 24, so maybe a little bit over my weeklies. Um, and that was, most of that was that Italian dinner, and that's fine. Like, that's why they're there. Basically, I went, one day I went two over, and then the rest of them were from that one day. It was no big deal. That's, I love the fact that you get weeklies. Um, I know not everybody uses them, but I, going forward, want to use at least some of them because I feel like every week there's going to be something that I don't want to miss out on where normally I would just say, well, I just won't track today. Oh, well, you know, I'll start back tomorrow. 
that's what I normally would do. But because I have the weeklies, it gives me an out to say, no, I can still, I don't have to not track, I can still track, I'll just use my weeklies. And I love that. Um, now, the only thing that I need to do better is I haven't been to the gym since I started Weight Watchers. And I really just wanted to give myself grace to just kind of get into the program. I didn't want to start too much back at once. Plus, we've been super, super busy. And this weekend is going to be super, super busy. So my goal in the next week before I talk to you again is at least to go to the gym once or twice. Just kind of ease back into it. Maybe do some walking. This is the thing. I'm kind of afraid to get back to the gym because everything's going so well that I don't want to be super hungry and mess everything up. You know, I don't want to go to the gym and run for two miles and then be super hungry and kind of go on a binge. And I don't think that's going to happen, but I'm just a little anxious about it. Not anxious, just kind of hoping it doesn't happen. But, um, you know, if I, if I work out and I need to use some weeklies and that's why they're there, you know, so, or I could have some fruit or veggies. And that is honestly the number one thing I'm loving about Weight Watchers, besides just being able to eat what you want and all of that. Um, is the unlimited fruits and veggies. And I have not gone insane with that, but I have noticed that I am eating five or six servings of fruits and veggies a day. And I mean, you know, combined. Probably no more than two fruits a day, maybe three some days. And I feel great. I love, I love that. I feel like I'm buying healthier food um, because I know that those are zero points and I love that. Um, I need to also to do better this week on water. I just, I have not been in the mood to drink water. I don't know what it is. I really don't. I, I've been doing so well with my water and getting so much of it in that I've kind of backslidden on that. I just don't feel like it. Like I hate running to the bathroom every five seconds, you know? So instead, this is what I think I'm going to do. Instead of trying to have a goal of I need to get in three big cups of water a day or whatever, what I think I'm going to do is just listen to my body and before I eat, make sure, am I really just thirsty? You know, when I'm, you know, just listen to it. You know when you feel thirsty and just really try to drink the water first before I have coffee, before I have, you know, even like a sparkling water. That's what I've been wanting. It's like the sparkly fizzy waters and they're still zero points, but they're not as good for you as water. So I need to do better on the water this week. I need to get myself in the gym and just get moving a little bit. It doesn't have to be like, you know, two hours in the gym or one hour in the gym. It can just be a few minutes of walking or taking Lucy on a walk or just doing some extra activity because I want to start tracking that as well and getting some fit points, not to eat, just to kind of track. So that is how this week has gone. Now plans for next week. We do have a couple of challenges next week, nothing major, but this weekend is going to be Easter. And I normally don't, I don't ever remember going like completely crazy at Easter time. It's not, um, you know, I'm old enough now or I don't really get Easter good, you know, baskets and stuff. I do it for my kids. And so there will be Easter candy in the house, but I'm really going to try to focus on stuff for them and not so much my favorites. Like, you know, I'm not a big fan of like the cheaper, like kid chocolate and stuff, which they don't care. Lucy doesn't care. She, she likes any of it. So I can buy some stuff that normally I wouldn't buy, but you know, I wouldn't buy for me, but she likes, and that way I'm not as tempted to eat it as opposed to like, if I bought like, um, dove chocolates, <laughs> I would be all over that, you know, but like the Hershey and stuff, I'm not that, that's not my weakness. So I can buy that and have it in the house. Fine. I just need to be mindful when I go shopping for them that I'm buying stuff that is not going to be a trigger for me. Also this weekend, we're going to probably be eating out some and we're going to be at the church a good bit because we have something every single day this weekend. We have a Friday night service, we have Saturday morning thing, and then we have Easter, of course, Easter Sunday morning. So um, I won't be cooking. <laughs> the dinner will be provided on Friday night. I'm not sure exactly what it's going to be. I am not big on eating. I don't know what this is, y'all. I'm not big on eating like banquety, churchy type foods. I don't know what it is. Like the mass quantities of food, it just kind of turns my stomach. I don't know. Um, so I don't foresee that being a temptation. But if I don't eat anything and then I'm really, really hungry when church is over, um, I could see that being a problem. Me wanting to stop and get some fast food or something. So what I probably will do if I have time is try to eat before we go. And that way I won't feel pressure to eat what they have if I don't like it. Um, 
not that they're gonna have anything gross because they won't they have awesome ladies that cook but you know what I'm saying like I just I'm very picky of what what I eat and then not knowing like what is you know what they prepared it with and stuff um and I'm just I don't know what that noise is I'm just really um I'm picky that's just all there is to it. I am picky when it comes to other people making food, me not knowing what's in it. Um, and just somehow, like, I'm not a big fan of buffets for the same reason. Like, just seeing mass quantities of food kind of grossed me out. I don't know what it is. I am so weird. But I just need to plan ahead on that. Since I know myself, I can plan ahead and say, you know, um, maybe I should eat beforehand. Maybe I should bring a snack and that way I won't be over hungry. And then Saturday will be busy and I need to get Nate measured for his tux hopefully on Saturday after the thing at church. So we'll probably, I don't know if we're going to have dinner at church on Saturday or if we're going to be out going out to eat on the way to get his tux fitted for my brother's wedding. I don't know, but I'm just saying to you guys, <laughs> it's all up in the air this weekend. I am you know, usually I have meals planned and stuff. And this weekend, I really don't have anything planned because I knew it was going to be nuts. You know, my husband is a minister. And when you're a minister and it's Easter, it's just kind of crazy. So um, that's what the hurdles are this weekend. But they'll be fine. It's nothing that I can't manage. Just using my points, you know, making sure I plan ahead as best I can and just stay on track. So really, I mean, I'm super thrilled with the 0.8 weight loss. I think that's awesome. I can't wait to keep the number going down. Non-scale victories for this week. Um, I had several, several people tell me when I was home this weekend that they thought I lost way more. They're like, how much weight have you lost? And I'm like, well, you know, since Christmas, maybe like only six pounds. And they're like, holy cow, you look so good. You don't look way, like you've lost way more than that. And that made me feel really good because I... You know, those weeks that the scale wasn't moving was very frustrating, but I have been working out so hard. I know I lost inches. My clothes are fitting really well. So other non-scale victories. I just heard somebody slam into a door. Hopefully that was the next door neighbor. Um, other non-scale victories has just been able, being able to track every bite and not feeling the need to pop things into my mouth and oh well that's probably not a point so I'm not going to track it or that's probably nothing or I'll just not track this one little thing and then you forget later I'm gonna, I'll track it later and then you forget so just tracking everything and being accountable to myself for everything even the days I wasn't filming for you guys huge non-scale victory huge because in the past if I wasn't filming for you guys you know I didn't track everything I ate not all the time and um, that will sabotage your weight loss. So, and you know, other non-scale victory. Okay. Last thing on the way home, I was in the car with the kids. Now, normally on a road trip, if I wasn't dieting at all, that would be the time I would want like chips and like stuff to munch on and candy and you know, all of that. And I stopped and got them a happy meal before we left because we were leaving Nate's doctor's appointment, headed home, headed on the trip. It was like a three hour drive. And what I did instead was I had to run into Publix to get Nate some medicine. So I ran in there and I was like, I don't really want to eat fast food. I don't want to eat fast food. And I think I filmed part of this. Um, but I want something that's going to fill me up and not be super hungry. So I went into Publix. I got an apple, like a really nice big apple. I got a little yogurt smoothie, which was only three points. And then I got just some chicken nuggets. I think I had three chicken nuggets at McDonald's. And I felt great. I felt so empowered that I didn't cave in to get the burger and fries. And, you know, I felt great for the drive. I didn't feel bloated and uncomfortable. So that was huge non-scale victory and I wanted to eat that food I didn't want you know I whereas before I would have used it as an excuse to eat fast food this time I didn't want to do that I wanted to eat the healthier food because I know I would feel good and I'd feel better so love it I'm loving Weight Watchers I still wish I still wish I could go to meetings because I feel like I would get so much out of it just that like something about just going and having to weigh in in front of everyone, <laughs> and, um, having that accountability and the support and being able to see their faces and um, the same faces every week. I don't know. I just feel like I'd really like it. It's not an option for me. So I'm going to work the program I have. What I have found to be very helpful if you're on Weight Watchers online and you can't go to meetings, 
the Weight Watchers Connect on the app has been awesome. I feel like it's like a mini meeting because you see all the success, you see all the support. If you post anything on there, people are going to support you. It is amazing. Also, I have found that Weight Watchers has some videos on there. There's like some phone calls with Oprah when she does the Weight the connecting with Oprah live or whatever all those are on there that she's done and Weight Watchers has some videos I like just putting those on and listening to them while I'm cleaning or I'm um, in the car or whatever and I love that it's it's very encouraging and it makes me want to do even better so that has been awesome I'm gonna let you guys go because I've been talking and talking and talking but that is kind of the recap of my week David did not weigh in this week he is all over the place you guys he's so busy with it being Easter weekend when I was out of town he was here working and he just I just got him like some frozen dinners he's been eating out a lot he's like I do not feel like weighing in so he will be back on track I'm not sure when I'm gonna let him get through Easter right now and then I'll kind of get on him again about weighing in but um he he's doing good I feel like he's I don't know how if he's gained or not but he's only eating meals he's hardly snacking at all and um he'll be back he'll be back but he he's just really busy right now he doesn't even have top five seconds to, to even come on the camera so don't worry he'll be back but thank you all for the support thank you all for the support two thumbs up come on hit the like button for the point eight i i think i'm doing the math right right yeah 220 yeah point eight and um please subscribe if you're new. I have lots more videos coming up and I would love to connect with you down below in the comments and I will see you guys all next week. Bye y'all.